Oren, we're here at Norjan Precision Engineers. What's the purpose of today? We are over here going to exhibit and allow the customer, the local uh, distribution, to see the new products and to see the more advanced uh, technologies. And what, what are the new technologies? So we are uh, supporting our systems, our spindles, with uh, the correct uh, cutting tools, the cutting uh, conditions, the cutting strategies. And we give them a lot of uh, updates about how to utilize the systems and also how to use it with more advanced uh, technologies. So essentially we're using the high pressure coolant of the machine tool to drive your spindles. How fast will they go? So the coolant, the pressure coolant, is the source of energy. And depending on that, the two units that we have in our product lines can allow you to get to 40,000 or even to 55,000 according to the application. Okay, and we're talking quite small tools normally, aren't we, when we use uh, these types of spindles. So presumably, you, that, that's going to increase tool life. These tools are designed to go 20, 30, 40,000 RPM. So presumably, that's going to help the tool. Exactly. So it will also stabilize the process, so it's a wear issue. It's also the correct cutting conditions, and also allow you to have a good run out, which is a very crucial issue that we are emphasizing in our systems. Yes. And surface finish? The surface finish is a very good uh, example of the abilities that our systems are allowing you to have a very narrow and small cuts. And by that, you have a very good surface finish because it's very condensed and you have a, a good uh, overlapping of this process. And then it also helps you for the next process, which is usually polishing or other finishing, that you can or shrink it or lower it the process. And many times I've seen demos before in aluminium, but this material isn't aluminium. Exactly. We are doing on live, real live uh, activations. And those examples are the real life. Hard material is very hard. You are facing problem of wear and the, the material is trying to slow your process. And we are really managing with this high cutting speed to overcome that, a good strategy, and the customers that really face the problems can see hard material, 48 what we'll see, that can be machined in such a speed. And this is really a very good example that they can unify in their systems. The basics allow you to know what is the machine abilities and limitations. Second, also what are the limitations of our system. And also to adjust all the process itself together that allow you to get to a more economical and also affordable solutions. So essentially we're talking about productivity, you know, get the job off the machine quicker, earn, the, earn more John in this case, more money. Exactly. We are aiming first of all to improve the process. Second is also to stabilize the process, because stable process you can leave it to work night shift, you can also use uh, more uh, technologies in the process and also the customers would like to have simple and we are coming in order to help them to do that. So here in Nord, John, have been long admirers of your products. You've got many different cutting tools here, but we're actually focusing on the, on the turbine spindles today, aren't we? On the, on the Typhoon spindles, which Norjohn were one of the first in the UK to uh, purchase from Tagitech, and we're now trying to show them how to utilize the technology and to help improve their productivity further. So how have they used it in the past? In the past, they were just using uh, the standard on embossing plates, three to one on the you know, one mil ball nose, two mil ball nose, three mil ball nose. And it was a very good process. But obviously now that the technology's moved on, the machines have moved on, more investment by Norjohn on more machines. Uh, we're trying to work together to try and improve how they utilize the technology and the products. And can you quantify any of the savings? The savings, a minimum saving we would expect to see would be a 50% reduction in cycle time. So to in increase their productivity, Norjohn are investing now in machines with robot loading. So it's critical that we now get the, the jobs off quicker. And in terms of the cutting tools, they're quite small, uh, you know, one, two, three millimetres. Presumably tool life's increased? The tool life increase is, you know, spot on because the RPM is now at the correct data. We're now demoing at the moment with Norjohn 0 0.4, 0 0.5 mil uh, slot drills and utilising it in a drilling application. Is that good for you? It's good that they're now going to use more products, but the, the other side is the tool life is 
is very good because the optimum speed of the cutter has been utilised, so it's, it's good. And just finally, I see these, you know, people might be looking to buy an expensive machine tool to free up capacity. They might not need to. They can, for a relatively small investment, you can improve their throughput by up to 50, 60 percent if there's a lot of finishing involved. Exactly. A very crucial point for the customers is to know that when they are buying a new equipment, at the end they have to compromise. And usually they compromise on two issues. It's the spindle speed and many times they do not put a pressure pump. So we are suggesting them to do a good uh, decision on when they buy the new one. And in addition to that, we are also serving customers that have already the machine. They can upgrade them and get a better result very quickly without going into a big capital investments. And we actually stood next to a brand new C22U. How about turning centers? How about sliding head laves? Exactly. So right now, the machine nearby is an excellent platform that we can enjoy the added value. The next uh, product line that we have is also for turning machines with turrets, which is also a segment that is underserved. And we have the ability to give you a good uh, speed for the turret operations. The next one is also turn mill machines that are really very similar to milling machines. And the last one that now we are coming to the market is going to the sliding head Swiss type. That is the first product that will come to the market that serves the backside of the machine with a coolant that goes through the tool with high speed. This is really unique. And like I said earlier, we're at Norgian Precision Engineers on the south coast of England. They're a great partner for Take Tech, aren't they? They've bought many of these spindles already. Yes, we have already a, a good relationship and also it's, it's evolving. We are evolving with them and we have a good support from the Tech, Tech the local uh, distributors that really give us the platform to improve the customer's uh, platform uh, abilities. And we are uh, learning together and we give them other services. And Norjon really is advancing. You can see how they are entering into new products and buying a very good platform. And we are part of this system. I came here one year ago and they had lots of technology. <clears throat> in fact, it was for Tegu Tech I came, but they've got lots now. They've invested so much in a short period of time. Yes. So you can see, first of all, they're thinking long term and they're entering into products that are long term projects and quality at the end speaks. You can get a good investment with that.